A year after a double blast killed three, maimed hundreds, and paralyzed the city, Boston is proving that it is indeed strong. Despite the terror threat there, New England's capital city and its big upcoming race are thriving. Ebru's Kyle Schmoyer is live at where the marathon will take place on Monday. Kyle. Well, Logan, every year the Boston Marathon pumps a lot of money into the Boston economy. This year, it's expected to the tune of $176 million, all thanks to more media, more runners, and a much bigger crowd. How Marathon Week goes, so goes uh, visitor industry for the year, because it is the kickoff. So far, the Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau really likes the projected numbers. 36,000 marathon participants registered. That's up 9,000 from last year. And the city expects more than 1 million spectators, an increase of nearly 50 percent. They're focused. They will finish the race, and they want to make a statement. And so I think it says a lot about marathon runners in particular, but more importantly, about all of their guests and friends and spectators. It basically says, um, A, we're resilient, B, we stand with Boston, and, you know, C, we want to be as strong as Boston or Boston strong. Sunday night into Marathon Monday, hotels are usually around 85% occupancy. This year, topping 90% full. And don't forget, people staying over will eat and shop, too. They'll be now visiting some of the historic cultural sites in the city, eating out at restaurants, shopping on Newbury Street or Boylston Street. Bostonians welcome all the runners and their supporters to stand with them one year after the tragic marathon attacks. We want to be here, and I'm absolutely excited that people want to be here, especially with our recent events. I'm going to keep saying Boston strong, absolutely. Pretty awesome, you know. It's brings everybody out. Hopefully it'll be a nice day and you know everybody enjoy themselves. Tourists already in town say the greater turnout sends a clear all-American message. We're not going to let anybody slow us down, hold us back. We're going to keep doing what we do with, no matter what. And that means coming to a truly great city in a historical place for a historical race and spending some money too. Logan? Kyle, the city, of course, is trying to make a comeback, and then last night, bam, it got slapped again, this time by a hoax. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, police are calling it a real knucklehead event. It was just a little after this time last night that someone ran up Boylston Street behind me there, uh, dressed all in black and barefoot, and dropped a backpack, a book bag in the middle of the street. Well, there's so much police around here for this next week or so that people took notice of that right away. They apprehended that person, and then the bomb squad came in. They took a look at that. It turned out to be a rice pressure cooker inside a bag but not an explosive. The police here in Boston did blow that up just in case to make sure it was nothing more. It did turn out to be a hoax, and that knucklehead, as they call him, is in custody right now facing a slew of charges, including a hoax out here on Boylston Street less than a week before this next marathon. Kyle Schmoyer reporting live tonight from the finish line of the Boston Marathon that is slated to take place on Monday. Thanks so much for that report.